Welcome everyone to Maniko Knows. I'm your host, Maniko. Today we're exploring the curious journey of the term woke, how it transformed from a rallying cry for social justice to a right-wing buzzword and a tool of slander. But before we begin, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to ensure you never miss a new video. The Oxford English Dictionary no longer defines the word woke as a verb, but also an adjective meaning alert to injustice in society, especially racism. But to truly understand the woke phenomenon, we need to go back to its roots. The term woke originally emerged in African American vernacular English, signifying awareness, especially regarding social and political issues affecting black American communities. It was a term embraced by activists fighting for racial justice and equity. Some activists define wokeness as recognizing and dismantling the structures that perpetuate inequality. It comes out of black culture, explained Elaine Richardson, a professor of literacy studies at Ohio State University. Quote, in simple terms, it just means being politically conscious and aware, end quote. Others, such as OK Player senior news and culture reporter Elijah Watson, states, quote, to be woke is to be black, end quote. However you define it, as social justice movements gain momentum in the 21st century, the term woke transcended its linguistic origins. It became a mainstream concept, celebrated for its association with awareness and advocacy for marginalized groups. Corporations began using the term in marketing campaigns, aiming to align themselves with progressive ideals. However, somewhere along the way, this mainstream adoption sparked a backlash from those who saw it as performative or insincere. And the past is prologue. If we turn back once more to the origins of the term woke, the late New York Times writer William Melvin Kelly wrote in his essay, If You're Woke, Dig It, about the tendency of black American slang to be appropriated by the power majority, who often have no clue about the original meaning of the terms or purposefully distort the meanings until they're transformed into something else and eventually abandoned by their original creators. One Chicago community organizer recently commented that, quote, the right wing redefines terms to absolve themselves of their role in maintaining white supremacy. This is an old but effective tactic, end quote. Enter the right wing reaction to wokeness. Critics on the political right started using the term woke as a pejorative, associating it with perceived excesses of political correctness and cancel culture. In an article for Fox Business, conservative dad's ultra-right beer founder Seth Weathers stated, quote, Conservatives have had enough of woke corporations, and they're fighting back with their wallet. End quote. Newsmax host Eric Bowling was quoted in a 2022 article for the New Republic stating, quote, Our leadership is more concerned with being woke than powerful and effective. End quote. Woke quickly transformed from a descriptor to a weapon in the ideological battle. It became a buzzword used to undermine and ridicule those advocating for social justice. At a 2023 event in Virginia, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said, quote, The woke mind virus represents a war on merit. It represents a war on achievement. End quote. Former President Donald Trump has stated, quote, I don't like the term woke because I hear woke, 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 you know? It's like just a term they use. Half the people can't even define it. They don't know what it is. End quote. The right's co-opting of woke has had a profound impact on social justice movements. It's created a narrative that pits those seeking societal equity against those defending traditional values, deepening the ideological divide. The weaponization of woke has shifted the focus away from genuine social issues to a culture war. In a March 2023 article for the Huff Post, writer Dustin J. Siebert wrote, quote, When a word that originated in the black community as a rallying cry has been bastardized by the right, it's time for that word to die, end quote. 
As we wrap up our exploration, it's clear that the term woke has undergone a fascinating metamorphosis, from a symbol of social awareness to a divisive buzzword. Understanding this evolution is crucial for navigating the complex landscape of contemporary discourse. And with that, I'll conclude this discussion with a quote from singer-songwriter Erica Badu. In 2023, when asked her thoughts on how the term woke has been reinvented by conservatives, she stated, quote, I think they mean black. Yeah, it's another way to say thug or something like that. It is what it is. It doesn't belong to us anymore. And once something goes out into the world, it takes on a life of its own, end quote. Thank you for joining us on Monico Knows. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay woke.